Hi there, my name is Aaron Short and welcome to my YouTube channel and another episode of Music Apps with Coffee. Cheers everyone. Oh, it's starting to go cold. First of all, thanks for watching episode one. I want to make something clear. You don't need to own a Helix or any special hardware to take advantage of these apps, okay? So with the drum app from last week, I had people say, well, I need to buy special hardware or Helix. All you need for an app like the drum app is to get the sound out of the iPad. So you could just play the sound from your iPhone or your iPad speaker in the room. If you want to plug it into your PA, obviously you need to run it into the PA. So you could take the headphone out if you have one or a line out from the USB-C on an iPad Pro to a sound system. And the reason you need the MIDI controller is just to control things like starting and stopping things with your feet if you're playing a guitar or an instrument. That's why I recommend things like the Morningstar pedals, the MIDI pedals. So you don't need a, you don't need a Helix. If you own a Helix, the great thing is that it has the inputs, a mic input, a guitar input, loads of outputs, loads of USB pads, built-in effects, built-in amps, XLR outs, jack outs. The Helix is a great all-in-one. I know a lot of people own them like myself, and it's a great thing to, to use these apps if you own one. But like I said, if you don't own one, there are other options one of which I'll be using today. This is the X-Tone Pro. Now this is a great lightweight pedal. It's around 250 bucks, I'll put a link below. And it's an interface, so you can get your guitar and your mic in, then the USB goes to the iPad, and then you can get the sound out from the XLR out or the jack outputs in stereo. This is a really great interface and way to connect your guitar to your iPhone or iPad. The iPhone and iPad even powers it over the USB. So the one cable powers this pedal. Not only is it an interface, it also has six switches, and these six switches can be assigned to MIDI controls. They are preset. They're not as flexible as something like a Morningstar. So they're CC commands that are preset in the pedal, and then you do MIDI learn on your app, press a button, and it will learn that control. Works on most of the guitar apps. So this could be just for your guitar effects and your microphone input. And then something like the Morningstar could control the other apps that I'll cover in other videos like the Drum app and other apps coming soon that I'll be showing you. Please subscribe if you haven't already. So if you're a guitar, mainly a guitar player, this thing is awesome. Or an instrument or something where you want that jack input, this is really great. Very portable too. I love this because it's a very, very portable unit and very well made and sounds great. And again, for guitarists, I think this is even better for latency than something like the Helix. So this is the X-Tone Pro. I'll be covering it more in the future. Again, please subscribe and check this out if you, if you need something to get your guitar or instrument into your iPhone or iPad. There's many, many ways to do this and that's why it can get confusing, but just watch the apps and then get the things you need to go with them as you go. It's like a building block. You can buy the input device and output device for your phone, and then you can buy the apps that you need or download for free the apps that you need to build your own rig. And that's why I love this thing. The iOS thing is great because you're not just stuck with one product or having to buy different pedals. You can just add the apps that you need to create your own rig. and That's awesome. So today's app is a guitar rig. I'll be using the X-Tone Pro and this is called the Overloud THU app. Let's check it out. Okay, so this is a guitar amp simulator with effects. It's really cool. There's a looper in there as well. So this is basically like your Helix or Kemper in an app. Now, THU make a desktop version. I've tried it in the past and I didn't like it. I didn't like the interface. I actually think the interface is better on the iOS app, which is unbelievable, right? So it's a free app to download and check out and then you can add packs in app purchases, basically. So it's about 120 bucks for the full thing which isn't cheap, but it's also not crazy expensive. So this X-Tone Pro at 250 and the app at 120, you're looking at kind of 370. That's not bad. It's still cheaper than like an HX Stomp. And it gives you the ability to use other apps with the pedal in the future and use it with other apps. So I think this thing sounds so good that it's worth seriously worth considering. And let's see if you agree with me. Please do download the app and tell me in the comments below if you think this is a great sounding guitar rig. I really like it. So when you load it up, this is what it looks like. THU, one little tip, if you own the desktop version, this is cheaper. So another great reason to get it. And also if you buy these rigs that I'll show you later on, on the desktop version, they're only a dollar in the app. 
So if you own the desktop version and you like it, this is a complete no brainer. Get this and the Xtone Pro and plug. I mean, you could even use this with the Helix to add some new amps to your Helix or something like that. This is a great, great app. I'm so impressed with the, the sounds of this and the effects are great too. So do bear that in mind. Don't make the mistake I did. I bought the app and then tried to buy the things in the desktop app and got charged a lot more money. Luckily, Overlayer took care of me, but it wasn't that clear. So consider buying the desktop app first or do the desktop trial. And if you love it and you buy that, then the app will be cheaper. So do bear that in mind, okay? We load it up and this is what you see. This is your rig, basically. I've got a noise gate pedal and an amp head and a cab. And you can see this is just one of the built-in presets. So top left of the screen, if I touch on that, this is nice. You get a big screen on your iPad and it says tuner. So there we go, there's a tuner. Works really well. So I like that they have that there. There's your battery percentage. So this is like an on stage view. You got a clock. Awesome. I wish all my pedals had a built in clock. There's a clock right there. <laughs> CPU usage 16%. Obviously, the more powerful your device is, the less CPU you'll use. You can make some very complicated rigs here. You can have stereo paths with two amps, two cabs, impulse responses, all these different things. So you're only limited by the power of your phone or your iPad. So I think this could technically be more powerful than something like a, a Kemper. Unless I'm wrong, I, I, we'll see, we'll find out. There's a looper here. We can assign that to MIDI or use our hands. Very cool. You can also use it to check your sounds and play them back uh, to do a sound check without playing the guitar. So you can move the looper to the beginning or the end of the chain. That's really great. Here's a master section. This is nice. You've got a built-in noise gate. You've got uh, the amount of reverb and delay. You've got an e master EQ and the sensitivity control. This is very powerful, so be aware of that stuff. Now let's exit out of here again. So here's our main screen. Top right, the three lines. This will show you the settings. So I'm logged in here. Global settings, let's see what that says. Okay, X-Tone. Now sample rate, on the Helix you're locked at 48. And I think there's a touch of latency. But on the X-Tone Pro, you can select 96, and I actually think that has less latency and sounds really good. I think if you're a guitarist, the X-Tone Pro is the way to go for sure. Sounds really good and has you know, very low latency compared to other products. Also has those built-in switches to select different um, sounds and patches. Okay, so some more settings there. Purchase history, you can see I've bought here a few packs. Now what these are, these rigs, the, the Live Ready Sound Unchained and the Chop Tones XTC, these rigs are basically like Kemper profiles. They won't say that in their marketing, but that's what I kind of feel that they're doing. They'll take a rig and profile it. And indeed the controls in these rigs are very similar to Kemper rigs. So you have the built-in amp sims and effects from THU and then the rig as well, the, the rig section. So there's two rigs there, Live Ready Sound Unchained and Chop Tones Bogner Ecstasy. So these are cool. I think these sound really good. And these are, extra, uh, these are extra purchases, but I think they're worth getting. So this is what I have here. I also got the American Classics rigs as well. And there's the full version that I purchased there, THU Full. Okay, so you load up the program and this is what you see. You get a Fender Amp and a Fender Cab. I think the tones here are great. Very three-dimensional, very amp-like. <laughs> There's a bit of noise. I'm sitting with single coils in front of my computer screen. So that is not the pedal or the app. That is mostly coming from my guitar. Um, as you can see, when I turn it off, it disappears. Also, you may hear the strings of the guitar through my vocal mic, so apologies for that. So this is the first preset you see. Now, what you can do is you can hold on that amp and you can move it around, edit it or delete it. Or you can tap on it and choose another amp. You see the bottom here with the amp name, if you touch on that and scroll all the way down. You see they've got a Dumble. Someone was saying to me the other day about Dumble amps. Well, they've got one in here and it sounds really good. So this is what the Dumble sounds like. So there's your bass control. I love the controls here. I think they're better than the desktop version because on the desktop version, you have to turn the controls on the amp itself, which is fun, but fiddly. On here, these sliders work great. 
So I can choose uh, different versions of the amp here, jazz, rock, or mid, which is real settings from the actual amp. I like mid, I'm liking mid range lately, so. You can change the tube types here. So. Just basically like an EQ change, isn't it? And probably feel as well. Very punchy. Very punchy and very real. I like it a lot. So there's lots of things you can change here to customize your sound, and that's just on the amp head itself. If I exit out of this, so that amp is going to that cab. I could change this cab. Here's all the cabs they have. Loads and loads of different cabs. They're all in there. You can use impulse responses if you import them from the desktop version. Hopefully they'll add direct import of impulse responses into the app. The app has had a few updates since I got it and really improved already since I got the app. Now let's build a quick preset. That's very dry sounding. So on the bottom right, there's a plus. We'll press that. And all categories at the top, we can select reverb. So there's some rack reverbs. There's uh, all different reverbs, spring, hall, plate, shimmer, which is, I love shimmer reverbs. And there's just a regular old small stomp pedal. I'll do that one. And I'll add it at the end with that plus icon on the right. And now it's at the end there. Okay, so if I tap on that once, I get my controls. There it is. It sounds great. I think the effects sound really good. So that's as easy as that. I might then want a delay. So again, all categories, delay. Delay pedal, after the reverb, and there it is. I mean, the effects sound great, don't they? So you can come here and you can turn down the amount of repeats and turn down the level and all that good stuff right there. And then later on, I might assign that to a tap tempo on the pedal so I can tap my tempo in as well. So I'm doing pretty well. The x Pro also has an expression pedal in. You can add an expression pedal to apply to a wah-wah or something or a whammy pedal. So that's really nice. I need a bit of grit here, so I'm gonna add an overdrive. Let's try the blues driver. Obviously I want that at the front of the amp so it hits the amp and it sounds like this. Mm, that's nice. I love that thick sound of the dumbbells, you know? go towards the Fender amp thinking that I'm a Fender amp guy because I like people like John Mayer. I know he plays dumbbells as well, but I really like that strong mid of the double. I'm really liking the mid range lately. So. So later on, I will assign that to a pedal on the switch here. I'll show you how to do that, but I think that sounds great. And then I might want something else for, let's say, distortion. Because obviously I could have three different rigs here. I notice on the Helix, when you change presets, it changes presets in this app. So that's really cool if you use the Helix to control this. But I could change presets either with my hand on the app or assign it to the X-Tone Pro. Or I can just add pedals in front of an amp like I do in real life and just make a rig like that. So let me add the cat distortion. This is obviously a rat distortion. They've called it the cat. I like that. Now, the funny thing is, I don't like rat distortions on some other modelers, but I really like the rat distortion on this. I think it sounds really good. not the perfect distorted sound. I'd probably use a, a distorted amp for this, but just, you know, it would do, it would do me for a gig. And normally when I use these rat pedals on modelers, I don't like them. They sound really honky, but this one sounds really good. I like this a lot. So I'm going to leave that on there. I can add other effects too. If I just click on here, I'll just show you the other effects that you have available. I mean, there's so many that amp cab, overdrive distortion, fuzz pedals, chorus, delay, compressors, equalizer. 
So you could even use this just to add an effect to your Helix. If you plug this into your Helix, right, there's an acoustic simulator here, and it's pretty decent. So you could just use the acoustic simulator in your Helix. Or if you like that rap pedal, just use that in your Helix. You don't have to use everything. You could just use one of these effects in your Helix or to offload the DSP. Say you've maxed out your DSP on your Helix, add this and then add some effects from this. It's, it really gives you a lot of power. You don't have to use it as an all-in-one, but as an all-in-one with Xtone Pro, it's seriously impressive because you can build some very nice sounding and advanced rigs here. And if I check out the CPU usage, I'm still at what, 17%? So I've still got a ton of CPU available and I've got an amp, a cab, a reverb delay, two drive pedals and a noise gate. So you're only limited by the power of your device and every year these devices get more powerful. So I really, really think this is the future for this stuff. I just, I mean, can you imagine if Kemper released an iOS app and you had access to all the Kemper amps that sounded the same as a Kemper and you could drop it into say this app and use these effects, I mean, it's, I'm thinking ahead, but it's pretty mind blowing. So this is my rig now. I've got a clean, I've got a crunch, and I've got a, a thrashy. Okay, and I've got some effects there. I've got my reverb, and I've got my delay. And by the way, notice on the screen when I play the guitar, the left side is my input level, and the right side is my output level. And you can see if they're clipping. That's really nice. Can you see that on the screen? Far left and far right. So again, some physical pedals don't show you that. They don't show you that you're clipping, but this has it built in there on, the, on either side. Um, I just love this app, I really do, as you can probably tell. So one more thing, that's how you make a rig yourself. I really like that, so you can save that, of course. I will just save that right there. So I've saved over the, that preset. Now, I will show you these rigs because they're really cool. So Live Ready Sound makes some really great stuff. Check them out if you haven't already. Uh, Live Ready Sound. And I have one of their packs. It's called the Unchained Pack, okay? So here we go. These are profiled complete rigs with effects and everything loaded in. You can purchase this and it loads up like this. Here's the light neck patch. It's like a modern plexi amp that, but this is based on. See Metro. 1965, it's a 412 with SM57 mic and a 421 mic. So it sounds like this. Very nice clean. It's so spanky and real. It's so kind of 3D and touch responsive. It's very amp-like, which is why I think it's comparable. I won't say it's as good as a Kemper, but it may be. I haven't I haven't tested them, but it's excellent, whatever it, whatever it is. That's a great clean, that's a great clean sound. I love that clean sound. And then he's got some more presets here. Here's a mid boost. Obviously I need to add a noise gate, but uh, let's just see what I can do here with this one. It might be very loud, turn it down. Awesome. Wow, that sounds great. That sounds really so good. And look, the options on here are slightly different to the other amps you have all these settings here. So you've got bass, mid, treble, presence, volume, definition, which is a Kemper thing, power, sag, compressor, clarity, tube shape. You can sit here and tweak this to your heart's content, but I think it sounded great as it was. And that was just the amp. It wasn't even being pushed by a drive pedal or something. Let me try another one. Actually, I bought another one, which is based on the Ecstasy amp. I have the Ecstasy model in my Synergy rig. So that's why I got it. And I think it sounds Again, really good, based on the fact that I've heard the, I won't say the real thing, but I've heard the module. Here we go, check this out. Again, you can add a noise gate, and you probably should do, because this is a lot of noise here in my single coil pickups. This is the EVH type sound. 
So I can bring the presence down, I'll bring the definition down, that's kind of like presence, some presence down. I mean... And that's just the amp. A really cool tip that I learned from the Tone Wars show is that if you add an overdrive, which is a tube screamer, and you put it at the front of the amp, and you turn the drive to zero and the level to maximum, turn the tone down slightly for me because I got a bright guitar, it pushes the amp and it makes it sound even better. Here's the pedal turned off. The mids are kind of scooped, a bit thin sounding. Turn it on. Wow. But like I said, there's a lot of noise here. All you do is you go to add, go to noise reduction. This quiet pedal is amazing. It's a great noise gate pedal. Check that out, the noise is all gone. There's so much gain there. Oh, I love it. That, I mean, there's some great tones there. I know something's good when I just get great tones without trying. I don't wanna work hard to get good tones. And there's a lot of tweakability here, but you don't need to use it. Everything here I've done today, in my opinion, sounds great. So it gets a, it definitely gets a, a coffee sip from me. Of course, the important thing is, as a guitarist, you wanna control this with your feet, not with your hands, because you're playing the guitar, you don't be touching on the screen, although you can do that. So I'm gonna show you now how easy it is to assign this to the pedal. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna think, right, I want to have, that drive pedal assigned to button A on the X-Tone Pro. So you tap the three lines in the top right and you tap on MIDI mapping. The device of course is the X-Tone and that's selected. Channel one, that's what the X-Tone Pro is set to, just so you know. There's global and current preset. Now you can either set the buttons to just the preset, which is current preset, or global so everything does the same thing. One thing right now at time of making the video, there's no way to do a global tap tempo. You've got to do it per preset. Kind of weird. I think they're going to change that in the future. But on this first one, I'll do global. So every preset on button A will turn on and off the overdrive, basically. So press on global. Find overdrive power. It's right there. Right now it says CC2. Tap on it. Now one thing with Xtone Pro, it says foot switch. Tap on that and select press 127 only. That's an Xtone Pro thing. You must do that. And then it says CC number two. That's not right. Now we could just manually change that, but I'm gonna press on learn and then press button A on the X-Tone Pro. I'm gonna press it down now. You see it changed to 10, because button one on the X-Tone Pro on this bank and this mode is already set to 10. It's, it can't be changed. So I've told the software now that, that 10 will turn that on and off. And now I can press back. And watch what happens when I press button A on the X-Tone Pro on off, on, off. One thing to note, there's three MIDI modes on the X-Tone Pro for different apps. Different apps use different uh, ways of talking with MIDI. I had to press down button A and C to switch into the blue mode on the X-Tone Pro. And then once I did that, this worked perfectly. In the mode it ships with, which is green mode, it didn't work as expected. So with X-Tone Pro, hold down A and C, use that mode. It remembers it, it'll, it'll keep that forever. So you do that with THU. Hold down A and C, blue mode, then assign the button. Look how easy it is. I press A and press A. And it, there's like a lag on the screen, but there's no lag in real life. So it's instant. That's great. So now when I'm playing, I can do this. So let's do another one. You can't really hear that. Let's do another one. Let's put some delay here. You just go add. Delay, delay pedal, after the reverb, and then you press on it, you can make your changes right there. I wanna turn it on and off with MIDI, so those three lines in the top right, MIDI mapping, global, 
and then go down to your delay power. Same thing again, it's gonna be press 127 only. Learn, I'll press button B. That button B is obviously 22 because it's told it is 22. Go back again and that will now always be delay on and off. So with a press of a button, I can have no delay. Or I can have delay. So this is off, as you can see on the screen. The great thing is when you're playing, you can see the pedals like a pedal board, so you can see what's on and what's off. So reverb is on, amp is on, distortion's on, noise gate's on, but delay is off right now. Press button B, and there's your delay. Press it again, turns it off. It's that simple. So it's really easy to program. You can save this. It's now saved the rig. And you can, yeah, use it like that, like I just did on the bottom right. You can save these into set lists. You can assign the MIDI or remember the MIDI, remember everything. It's just amazing that you can show up to a gig with this little X-Tone Pro that's this big and an iPhone and one USB cable will power the pedal from your iPhone and then you just run out into your PA and you're good to go. And the sounds I think are up there with, like I said, the, some of the best amp modelers on the market. And who knows what will come out next? I mean, imagine if Line 6, Kemper, Fractal release apps. I don't think they will because it might eat into their hardware sales, but I think it's gonna happen one day. And I don't think it needs to happen one day because I think this thing sounds as good as they do. Okay, it's not a dedicated hardware thing. Some people still prefer that. I mean, I, st I do like that as well. I'll be honest with you. But I just think of the potential of this thing. You can set it up how you want. You can buy the input device you want. You can buy the MIDI pedals you want. You could use this for a small gig with the six buttons and the three banks. Easy, for a guitar gig, easy. But if you want to do more stuff, you could just add MIDI pedals for those certain gigs. So it's a flexible system. But most importantly, it just sounds really, really good. And it's just fun to use and it makes it very affordable. It's a great way to get into electric guitar modeling and effects. You could even use this with a real amp. Plug this into the front end of your real amp and use the effects from here. I don't think there's a way to do four cable methods with a real amp, unfortunately. If they could figure that out in the future, that would be really cool. But you could plug this straight into the front of a clean amp and use it like a pedal board into a clean amp uh, front end. So I would do, I would try that, that can be really fun. So that is Overlayered by THU. I absolutely love it and I would love for you, if you're a guitarist, to download the app and tell me in the comments below what you think of the app because I want your opinions too. But I'm pretty fussy with these things and I think it sounds amazing and I use it a lot. Actually, I've been gravitating towards this quite a bit. It sounds that good and it's convenient and everything else. Also, the X-Tone Pro is my favorite way to currently connect into this app very low latency, which is very important for electric guitar players. And it works great. And the switches work really well with this particular app and the guitar apps. So if you're a guitarist, please download the THU app and let me know in the comments below what you think of the sound and feel of this app. I'd love to know. And the Xtone Pro makes a great way to plug your guitar in, very low latency. The switch is on there to control the effects. Let me know if you wanna see more videos on the Xtone Pro or the THU app, because today I just built a basic rig and I'm very happy with that. It's pretty much all I would use. But of course, there's different presets. There's the looper, there's pitch shifting, there's the acoustic simulator, there's other amp, there's um, dual cabs, all this stuff it can do. I didn't even show that today. So explore that and let me know if there's anything else that we should cover here. But most importantly, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and ring the notification bell so you're notified when the next episode of Music Apps with Coffee goes live. And now this is really cold, so I better drink it. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.